Unfortunately, the current characteristics of multiple myeloma is mainly uh, found as very immunosuppressive microenvironment. Micro so the consequence is that myeloma patients mainly die not directly due to myeloma, but because of the uh, infectious complication. And uh, of course, one of the most important infections cur currently is COVID-19. So the first uh, problem that we have is, of course, the high mortality rate. Uh, it was uh, uh, in the era before vaccination, starting from 20 even to 50 percent. So extremely high numbers of patients who, who unfortunately died because of COVID. Once we start vaccination, we observe that vaccine is not so effective in multiple myeloma patients as we compare to healthy volunteers. So of course, we need additional uh, shots of vaccine, four or even five shots of vaccine. Why? First, because the uh, immunoglobulin response drops down few months after uh, the last uh, vaccination shot. So typically uh, we have some kind of protection for two or three months, but later it goes down. The second point is that once we have immune response, it is not effective. So the neutralization profile of immunoglobulins that are produced after vaccine is not as good or as fit as in healthy volunteers. That's why, of course, we need some other weapons. And one are the uh, monoclonal antibodies that could neutralize uh, virus. So we have several of them. The problem is that in the Omicron era that are not very effective. The next point are antiviral drugs and we have both oral formula and uh, uh, in, uh, in intravenous uh, injection and I would say that are pretty active and the situation has changed now. So now the mortality rate of uh, uh, COVID during uh, uh, last uh, waves of, of pandemic for the multiple myeloma patients dropped down to 1 to 2 percent. So it is not as high as before, but still it is at least twice as many for, for healthy volunteers. The next problem that uh, we have uh, in the clinic is when to start COVID positive patients to treat active myeloma. So it is very difficult because we observe that we have patients that could have PCR positive result for two, even three months. And of course, typically we do not start therapy once the patient is positive, but we need to calculate to balance what might be benefit of starting immediate therapy and what is the consequence of postponing therapy. So it is really very individual. Typically we wait one to uh, two weeks, then we start with a CT uh, of thorax once we have uh, stable disease, I mean stable COVID disease, but still need of starting uh, anti-myeloma therapy, we do it. It is not very easy, but still I think during last three years we learned a lot. We learned how to uh, treat patients with active myeloma and protect them from consequences of COVID-19.